Hi everyone, Raquel here from Scrap Cozy. Today I'll share with you one of the three cards I created using the same technique, a fox patina with fresco paints, crunch paste and infusions. In this part one I'll show you the basic techniques with four color of fresco paints and in part two and three we will vary those colors and we will create two different projects. In part two we will create a flipping bird and in part three we create what could be the base of a rusty mini lantern. In all of them, we will use one of my two stamp sets released on February 2020, ESC20. Okay, let's get started with part one. I'm going to trim an A4 piece of smoothie cardstock by Paperazzi in four pieces. Those will be my bases. And then I'm going to stamp the same um, image four times. So that will be my bird and I'm using the stamping platform. I'm also creating masks with some post-it notes. So this is much easier using the stamping platform because it's just repeating over and over the same thing. And once everything is done, I'm going to create the remaining of the masks that I will use in the different cards. And once everything is stamped, then I'm going to just cut one of the masks and cover one of the frames. For part one, I'll use these colors, Gold Rush, Aqua, Duke Egg, Power Shell and Grape. I'll show them to you in detail later. The first one for me will be Gold Rush, but before that I'm going to prepare that piece of scrap paper with crunch paste. I'm going to extend it a little bit. That will be the palette that I'll use to extend most of the paint. My first base though is going to be using a brush. That brush is a very cheap and a very bad brush basically, because the bristles are very very hard. So they give me that sort of texture that you can see in the paper. And I'm applying that first laying very randomly and leaving empty gaps. Now with Aqua Duck Egg, I'm going to apply the next color. But here, I, instead of using the paper, I'm using that color directly on the paper that I applied some grunge paste on. So that's my new brush, basically. Okay, I use this technique in another tag um, that I did a demo for Seth in Creative World and I show you a different color palette and well you can check that if you want in my YouTube channel I'll add a link as well so you can have a look at that other color combination that will be actually the one for the part three but well um, I'm cleaning my brush on that piece of paper and once everything is dry then I'll move on to the next color which is power shell so that's a beautiful blue I'm going to spread it on that piece of paper and lightly touching I'm applying that color. I'm not applying a lot of pressure when I start with a new color I prefer to just apply very little pressure at first because I don't want to transfer all the color at once and now I'm using grape the fourth and final color so I'll apply just a blob there and then extending it with my brush and again lightly touches here and there and I'm always doing in the same direction if you see that will give me the feeling that this is like a wood or some sort of well textured um, surface. Since now I find that my surface is too dark, then I'm going back to the previous colors that I used. Since these are opaque, uh, I know that if I apply another layer, I'm going to be covering whatever is underneath. So you need to be very careful on what you want to do. Uh, here I was sure that I wanted to cover some of that color, so that's why I'm repeating some of the colors that I previously used. And also what I'm doing uh, with that piece of paper I didn't mention with the grunge paste is that if I press hard, because I press hard at the end of applying one of the colors, uh, what I'm doing is transferring that grunge paste onto the paper that adds more texture to the background as well. And that will be noticeable later when you, I show you the different pictures. Now my fifth color of paint is going to be the metallic color gold and this is because I want to add just a little touch here and there of that gold and that will give me the feeling that my surface is some sort of a metal that got very aged or very not rusty because these are not rusty color but yeah very very worn out and I just want to add a glimpse and basically this is all the paint that I will be giving to this card once you lift the mask look at how Mm, white and that part is very nice now I'm going to add more grunge effect and I'm using infusions golden sands 
I'm applying it in some places and now spritzing some water to make the infusions react. As you can see, I'm not covering the whole thing, just some patches here and there. Um, that's for different reasons. I don't want to dissolve all the walnut just because the walnut itself also gives me more texture on the card that I'm using. And also because I don't want to be covered everything in a, well, a flat yellow. I want some color here and there, but I also want to maintain some of the original color. So it's just playing with infusions as you like it and then cover it as much or as little as you like. And I'm adding more infusions in the middle to color the bird. And now I'll put some in my craft sheet and put in some water because I'm going to watercolor some of the images. I'm going to apply some to the frame of that bird. And then I'm also going to paint the bird itself to make it pop up a little bit. This simple watercoloring, I mean, it's not adding anything in any fancy, but that's it. And then I'm well adding more water or more efficiency if I want to add more texture. And once I am happy, I will basically heat set everything with the heat tool. And it's not much more to be done on this stack. I mean, you could do more steps and, and repeat some phases if you wanted more and more texture. But for me, that's that's enough. And I like this way. So I just stopped here for this card and that's it. I just final did that I made that it's not in here in the screen is I basically frame this on top of a card base and that's it so here are some close-up pictures so you can see all the detail of that patina effect which is very nice I like it very very much and basically you can see that all the colors that we use are hidden over there but all in conjunction will create this beautiful effect that I love so well that's all for today i hope you like it if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to see more especially if you don't want to miss part two and part three of this series or mini series <laughs> and feel free to leave me a comment if you want i love to read them all and i reply to them when i get a chance so nothing else from me thanks very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye